good. Cheers. Joe, you're ready. Three nil. You're top of the league. I mean, surely there's not a lot not to like about that performance today. What were your thoughts on that? Yeah, I like the, like the result, obviously. Um, I thought we uh, didn't start too well. I think with the ball, we, we were a little bit, I don't know if we were a little bit anxious or nervous. We kept forcing the play. And as the half developed, we started to get a bit more uh, cohesion in our play. Um, and then you could see it was, it was improving. So, and we scored, all right, the first one was an own goal. I thought the second and third goal were, were fantastic goals by us. Week yeah. What's the difference in performance? That's it. It's it's more time that these players spend together, you know, in training and playing games. And um, you could see it improved. We obviously want it to get better, um, and we'll keep working hard on trying to get it better each week. And hopefully, there's more signs of improvement um, next week when we play Perth. There's a lot of stats that come out of this game, but I think the big one is this is the first time victory have had two clean sheets in a row since December 2018. That must please you a lot. Yeah, I didn't know that stat, but um, you know, I think the, the players will will uh, draw a lot of confidence from that. And um, you know, I thought as a team we defended very well, we pressed very well. Um, you know, they're a mobile team. Um, they played the back three. We were very aggressive in our press, which at times left us one on one at the back. Um, but we felt that gave us more opportunity to to create opportunities and control the game. And um, you know, so credit to the players. Along with the pressing that led to the second goal, um, that third goal seemed to be very specific in terms of you know prep, match preparation. How satisfying would that be to see that goal come together? Yeah, it was. I think the second and third goal, uh, you know, moments that the players do at training. Um, you know, it's nice to see it come out in the game. And, uh, and now we want those actions to happen more often. Um, not always possible. You have an opponent as well that, uh, that is there to try and stop you and, and make life difficult. But um, pleasing for us that we scored those type of goals. Well, it started on the left. We, we had the ball and, and we um, kept the ball very well to, to get to the other side and created um, the overload. And then the players made some fantastic runs into the box and then Marco's delivery was, was a wonderful delivery and Ben scored a goal that he probably doesn't score often uh, with his head. So, um, yeah, I'm sure he'll be delighted with that. We all are. And, you know, to, to keep a clean sheet is, is important at 3-0 that we kept our discipline and. We still looked very dangerous in transition and uh, some good minutes for Robbie and Francesco as well when they came on. Um, yeah. Result obviously fantastic, Tony. Uh, but just coming into this game with all the baggage that's happened at this club <laughs> for two years, you know, alien crowds with the exception of Sydney Derby, not been that fantastic. You've got a decent house today. How much pressure did you feel or your players feel you had to put on a show today and actually make a statement about the new victory? I don't know about pressure. Uh, I think um, we we're all excited and uh, embraced uh, the fact that we're at home and that we have fans again, which uh, obviously we're, we're all delighted to have. Um, certainly um, any player that's playing in front of fans um, does lift them. And it was great to see pe people here supporting us. But, I don't think there was any extra pressure. We, the pressure we put on ourselves was to try and improve our performance. And we always felt if we could do that, that gave us another chance to get three points. And um, that's what happened today. Tony, uh, you guys were pretty aggressive from the outset in this match. How important do you think setting the tone with that level of intensity was in getting a result this week? Yeah, we, we showed our intent early, and um, which was good. I think uh, with the ball, we. We lost it uh, too easily, and then we had to um, defend probably in our half uh, more often than we would have liked. 
Um, we made it a little bit easy for our opponent to get possession. But, um, you know, that's a work in progress for us. And, um, you know, like every part of our game is, it's a new group. It's, um, you know, we just want to keep getting better and, uh, and we aim to do that. We try and win, like the last one. Yeah. How do you it in terms of exactly like that. We we went to the last game to try and win the game, and we'll do the same uh, on Wednesday. Um, we'll have a look tomorrow at training. Tomorrow Monday, uh, obviously the players will be very fatigued. It's only their second game in many many months. Um, we'll we'll see who's fit, who's available, and we'll pick a you know a squad accordingly that um, can go there and. And hopefully get through to the next round. I don't think for the cup. No, we, we'd like to see him train throughout the week and then make a, an assessment at the end of the week and, and a decision uh, leading into uh, the Perth match. Similar, very similar to Chris. Um, we, we, it was a little bit like Josh Brillante, you know. It was um, they picked up a niggle during the week, which is happening a little bit, uh, I think, for a lot of clubs. It certainly is for us, early part of the season. Um, we know he's making good progress, as is Chris, um, but we'll, we'll judge it day by day. And you know, if, if they're available, that's great. If they're not, we'll have to wait another week. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to put a limit on that. Um, we'll, we'll keep pushing to improve every day, and there's no limit. So uh, let's see how far it takes us. Uh, at the moment, it's good. We can see that we improve from last week to this week. Um, we'll work hard again to to do the same in the FA Cup, and then obviously against Perth at home. Um, we'll try and keep growing. You know, it's no one gives you the points. It's not easy, and um, you know we, we'll, we'll work very hard to to try and continue on, on the run of improvement. If that happens, then we feel we have a chance to, uh, to win another game next week. But you yourself, you would be satisfied with this. You, want, you would expect a lot more improvement to come, just your own internal expectations of this group. I want more, yes. Yes, definitely want more. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.